Well, hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on that link. My name is Nick with NorCal Rod and Reel. As you can see behind me, we have our Lifetime Tamarack Angler 100. And uh, I've owned this kayak now for about, I think probably close to nine months. I'm still really enjoying it, uh, but I'll be looking to upgrade hopefully soon. Uh, but that being said, out the box, this is probably one of the best uh, kayaks that you can get for the money. I'll just argue that. I mean, especially if you're looking, if your budget's not huge and you can only pay between you know, 200, 300, you can probably find some used for even less than that. Uh, this comes with a lot of functionality already in it to just get you on the water and bring a couple rods and be able to fish pretty nicely and comfortably out of it straight out of the box. But that being said, there's definitely some things that you should do to make your life much nicer on the water in this boat. And I wanted to walk you through what I've done. Uh, I took a lot of inspiration from other YouTubers out there too who had done uh, their specific upgrades to their boat. And I also added some of mine. The nice thing about this back here is you can probably get away with, with purchasing the upgrades that I put on the boat for probably just at or slightly above a hundred bucks. That's all that you need. So I'll leave a link down in the description below of everything that we go over in case you wanted to go ahead and, and implement this on your lifetime Tamarack. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead. Let's jump into these upgrades. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and let's talk from the uh, bow to stern, right? So obviously you have your, your pull handle and your bungees. I use this part up here as the paddle park. There's also another paddle park over here that you can use, but it's not necessary. Um, I don't think it really works well with the boat since the paddle, it does come, uh, it does kind of hit the back where I got the wheels and the cart. Um, but anyways, uh, really nothing, nothing too crazy up here other than the fact that uh, we have the GoPro mount, as you can see. Went ahead and installed this here. Uh, in hindsight, it probably would have been better to go ahead and install over here, but um, you know this works out fine just given the field of view of the GoPro. The reason being is because you get a Scotty mount rod holder here, as you can see, with the boat itself. And uh, when I first put this on, I was like, well, here goes nothing because uh, this is definitely stuck to the boat now. Um, and I didn't want this to block the field of view for the seat, right? So I want to be able to capture all the action. So first thing that I did was I added on the little GoPro mount. You can do it on either side. No holes, no anything. Super easy. I'll leave a link up in the description here of uh, the last kayak video that I did. And you can see that field of view with positioning the camera right here, right by the bungees. So, as mentioned, you get a Scotty mount rod holder. Comes standard with the boat, okay? Um, this has been a great, great piece of equipment to include with the purchase of the boat. Um, you get this, this is already rigged, so all you have to do is just install the, the, uh, the mount and it just comes right off. Just put it in the cart whenever I'm going to go travel and then put it back on the boat whenever I'm about to get back on the water. Uh, here is kind of where I went ahead and actually did the majority of my most substantial upgrades, I'll say. So first being the seat, you have to do this on this boat. Uh, when you buy this boat, you get a seat already in this, which is awesome, right? Most boats with this price, price range, you're just going to get plastic, but you get some padding there with a high back, but you should pick up a stadium seat. It really has made all the difference. Uh, I got this idea from one of the local YouTubers actually around me who started with the Tamarack, Mobbin Outdoors. I'll leave a link for him in the description below. You can go check him out because uh, his Tamarack that he had when he was fishing out of this boat was pretty impressive. He had a fish finder on it and everything, really awesome stuff. Not gonna do that on mine. Um, oops, don't wanna knock over. Well, that just happened. Is, uh, actually I should stop right behind here. We'll go ahead and we'll show it. But these scupper plugs, right? DIY scupper plugs. All you need is just a foam golf ball, right? Uh, drill and some paracord and you're set to go. These things fit 
perfectly in the holes. They do just fine. Don't spend any extra money on scupper plugs at any of the stores if you don't have to. Uh, the next big upgrade that I did was actually adding this tray here. Uh, there's not enough space up front in the boat for you to start working on on certain things. So like when you need to change out lures, when you need to go ahead and uh, and um, you want to keep your phone up there, anything else, you know, snacks, whatever, uh, it's just nice to have a tray to keep everything together because if not, you're stuck with your cup holder. And uh, it's just kind of some, I feel like it's just, it was a poorly designed use of the space. Probably the biggest, I don't want to say the biggest, but the best upgrade that I've made is adding this little um, utility pouch that's just Velcroed right here to the boat. So literally, I'll transport you know everything through the back over here, right? Um, the tray, this, the Scotty mount, etc. Um, all stays in the tray whenever I transport everything. But when I'm on the water, I don't want to have to keep reaching around behind the seat to grab everything. I mean, the boat's stable, but it's not. It's not the most stable boat, right? <laughs> You're gonna find. So me being a bigger dude, turning around in the boat isn't too bad, but it's not. It's not the most advantageous. We'll just let's just say that. You're gonna rock on this boat a little bit, and so you have to be very careful when you do that. Yet again, we're gonna drop the rods. So this utility pouch has been the biggest lifesaver because I got everything in here. As you can see, I have cutters that are attached and it's on a, uh, a little retractable little guy. So I can move it around wherever I need to um, on the right-hand side, left-hand side without taking this pouch off to go ahead, cut the line, change out the lures, fish grippers, pliers, some scent, and uh, you can go ahead with this. You can mount it vertical if you wanted or mount it like that. That thing's not moving at all when you're on the water, which is great. So it's nice having something easily accessible just directly to the left of my leg so I can grab all my tools, right? So let's, let's go ahead, let's move around this way. But I also went ahead and I added a decal ruler. To be honest, I haven't really used this this much, but it's nice to have. Um, you know, you want to be able to measure the fish and, uh, yeah, it's just good. I feel like the catch boards, I have one over here you can see down there. It's a little bit too big for me. I don't, I don't want to keep it in the back of the boat and risk losing it, even though I know you can make them floatable, but yeah, that's just my personal preference. I'd rather less is more, especially in this boat, because it's not, you have to maximize however much space you got and you're going to use and it's pretty limited, but you can definitely, definitely get a lot out of it. So going back here into the crate, this is just your simple crate, right? Um, in it, I normally just travel with two tackle boxes. I keep a backpack that's actually carabinered. You can't see it on this side, but it's attached to the crate, so I'm not gonna lose it. Um, and uh, in here, I also just keep, you know, a whole bag of soft plastics, which I fish with a lot. So it's easy for me to just turn around, just grab the bag, right? And I got this up here. And then I can keep a couple bags in the tray that I'm going to be using, and uh, I'm good to go, you know? Um, and then additionally, you have this uh, connection point here, this anchor point on the back. So I just string two bungees through the crate right and as you can see through here i just attach them to the back bungee underneath these top ones so the top bungee just kind of cradles the bottom of the crate and uh, the bungees they keep it pretty secure and then lastly of course you got the cart and the cart fits perfectly this is just straight off of amazon i just keep it attached straight to the crate with two bungee cords it's a little loose, but that thing's not going anywhere. I've never had any problems with that at all whatsoever. I'll pretty much rig this all at the car exactly as is. Just put the rods horizontally on the boat and uh, grab the handle and I'm good to go. 
So overall, I mean, as I mentioned, you can get all of, all of this for probably just a little north of 100. You could probably do even better, right? This here is just Tupperware. I literally just took a uh, Tupperware with a gasket seal on it. So actually, if I wanted to put the top on and have a watertight seal, that'd be fine. I didn't go over this, but this is just Velcroed on, right? Super easy, super easy. Yeah, Velcro is gonna be your best friend with this, so you don't need to drill any holes. This utility pouch is probably like anywhere between seven to 10, maybe maximum 12 bucks, just at Home Depot, right? Local hardware store, easy to get. Decal here is probably five bucks. The seat's probably gonna be the most expensive item that you are going to purchase. This, you can find them on sale, you know, for 20 bucks. I picked mine up for about 30, 35, I think, on Amazon. And then the milk crate, just from Amazon, I mean, sorry, not Amazon, from Home Depot. And uh, the bungees, Home Depot, and the cart can also be a little pricey, but you can find them on Amazon for like, you know, 30, 40 bucks. You're going to be comfortable with the seat. Yeah, you can make additions to give you access to the items you need, the tools you need, right? Measure the fish. You can record everything so you can share it with all your friends and be the coolest fisherman ever. And uh, yeah, and you got enough storage in the tank well to fit a milk crate and also a cart. Nothing too crazy on this boat, but this here is definitely gonna give you, you know, some, some good functionality on the water and give you a little bit of extra time, especially with the comfortability with the seat. And uh, also too, having some of the stuff up front that are easily accessible, uh, it's gonna make your time on the water much more enjoyable. Really, I think the top three items that I would definitely recommend you do to your boat is the utility tray up front, just Velcro that, the utility pouch, right, to the left or right, whichever you prefer, and then additionally to the seat. Everything else is pretty standard you see on another kayak, uh, but those, especially just from my experience, are gonna really make your life that much more enjoyable on the water. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you also have a Tamarack and you've done some similar upgrades or you've done some different things too that you think would be helpful, leave them in the comments below and uh, that way we can get the discussion going. So thanks again for tuning in. I'll see you guys on the next video.